Hey guys, it's a new year, so let's do a new video. Hello everyone, welcome back into the channel. My name is Andrew with Five Little Ducks Resale, and along with my wife Jessica, we are full-time online resellers. That means we go to places like thrift stores and estate sales, even garage sales, find undervalued items, and then we flip those items online for a profit on sites like Facebook, Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. As for a topic for today's video, I really didn't have anything planned other than just to do another What Sold segment to make sure that I'm getting caught up in my New Year's goals. So for the newcomers or for the people that are just joining us, uh, when I started YouTube, um, maybe about mid last year, my goal was to do weekly videos to put out the things that have sold for that specific week uh, in a kind of a weekly recap format. But what I wasn't counting on was the amount of work that YouTube really entailed with all of the video editing and getting all of the graphics ready. The space in between the time that I released videos was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so the amount of what sold would far exceed what I would want to go through in a specific video. You guys would be bored to death, I'm sure. It's been one of my goals to get caught up in my what solds to where I am with my video recording. So in today's video, the what solds from eBay account for about a seven day period from the end of November to the beginning of December. So while we may have to go through a couple more of these shorter what sold videos, it's my goal to finally get caught up where I can actually talk about in more detail the kinds of things that we have sold for that specific week because one, they're fresh in my mind and two, they've just happened. Before we get into those, I wanted to wish everyone a very happy 2023. I hope that everyone's New Year's was great. I hope you had a great time and, and kept safe. And without further ado, let's jump into some what sold. We'll start off the eBay list with this item. This was an Eddie Bauer Adventure 30 liter gray and green hiking water repellent backpack, which sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Up next was this set of five vintage Nestle Nescafe frosted glass globe mugs, which sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Following that was this pair of Miss Me jeans. These were size 29 signature bootcut low rise jeans, which sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Up next was this pair of Levi's Boys Size 18 Regular 511 Slim Fit Pants, which sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Next up was this vintage Boy Scouts of America Olive Green Garrison Beret Hat, which sold for $12.99 plus shipping. This next item was from our Gina consignment lot. This was a Women's Jones New York Petite multicolored striped shirt, which sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Following that was this Department 56 Snow Village Shady Oak Church Starter Set, which sold for $18 plus shipping. Next up was two sets of vintage baseball cards. These were the vintage sealed Fleer 1990 Kansas City Royals and the sealed 1990 Fleer Oakland A's team sets, which together sold for $5.68 plus shipping. The next item was this 2010 Hallmark ornament called Soul Sisters What a Pair, and it sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Next up was this pair of BKE jeans. These were men's size 28 by 30, Aiden bootcut low rise jeans, and these sold for $27.99 plus shipping. Up next was this women's size large orange Live and Love Texas Longhorns long sleeve t shirt, which sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Following that was this new with tags, navy blue, Louisiana State University embroidered strap back hat, which sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Up next was this vintage Federal Milk Glass American Freedom Train Bicentennial Mug, which sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Next up was this Lucky Brand Women's Size Extra Small Green Utility Military Style Jacket, which sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Up next was an action figure. This was the vintage 1990 Kenner Batman Returns from the Power Wing Batman set, and he sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The next item was this Boston Warehouse 3D embossed orange giraffe coffee mug, which sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And this next item was featured in our mystery box update video. This was the Michael Jackson four inch loose King of Pop action figure and he sold for $4.99 plus shipping. 
The next item was another pair of jeans. This was the Vigos women's size 32-33 Chelsea bootcut dark wash jeans, which sold for $29.99 plus shipping. This next item was one of our best ROIs that we had in 2022. This was a vintage Luby's Cafeteria Cookbook. It was the 50th Anniversary Recipe Collection Edition from 1996. We picked this up at a garage sale for about 40 cents, along with a number of other recipe books. And this one ended up selling on its own for $49.99 plus shipping. Up next was this pair of Echo women's size 9 to 9.5 off-road Yucatan sandals uh, in the red and gray colorway. And these ended up selling for $34.99 plus shipping. Then we had a customer come in and buy four of our Inesco Growing Up Girls figurines. She came in and bought age one, age two, age four, and age five, all brunettes. And these together sold for $24.96 plus shipping. Up next was this vintage 1998 Teletubbies plush, which sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Following that, we had this six inch Squishmallow cell. This was Tommy, the black dog, with blue bandana, and he sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Up next was a vintage Girl Scout patch. This one was the Science Place, which featured the Triceratops dinosaur, and this sold for $1.89 plus shipping. Following that was this lot of 22 in-depth paperback series books by J.D. Robb, also known as Nora Roberts, and these sold for $30.99 plus shipping. Up next was this Nickelodeon Paw Patrol hat and glove set for a 2T to 4T girl. This sold for $12.99 free shipping. Up next, another item from our Gina consignment lot. This was a new old stock Alfani Women's Trapani Gunmetal Gray Soft Leather Hobo Shoulder Bag, and it sold for $14.24 plus shipping. And the last eBay item of this video are these original Mucklux Geometric Design Tall Sweater Slipper Boots, which sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And now that those eBay items are out of the way, let's jump into our Mercari store and see what has sold out of there. We'll kick off the Mercari list with this. This was a Nike Men's XL Dry Fit Green Baylor University Polo Shirt, which sold for $16. Up next was this pair of Link Girls Size 13 Faux Fur-Lined Pom-Pom Boots, which sold for $10. Next up, we had this vintage Cabbage Patch Kids figurine. This was the one called Home Sweet Home, which featured uh, Baby Sister, and it sold for $15. And again, this next item from our Gina consignment lot, this was a Wonder Nation boy size large black and camo short sleeve raglan t-shirt, which sold for $4. After that was this new Fisher Price bee themed activity game, which sold for $17. And the last Mercari sale of this time period was this vintage 1999 McDonald's teeny beanie original Aaron Bear, new in package which sold for $4. And last but not least, let's check out some Poshmark sales. We'll kick off Poshmark with this. This is a vintage Fire King, Snoopy and Woodstock, at times, Life is Pure Joy, Milk Glass Coffee Mug, which sold for $18. Next up was this pair of Women's Monroe American Bravo Stretch Slip-On Wedge Shoes, which sold for $15. And up next, we had this new with tag, men's field and stream, size large, 100% heavy cotton, dark steel blue flannel shirt, which sold for $25. Did you hear that? Following that, we had this pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These were the size 427 Ava Skinny Ankle Mid-Rise jeans, which sold for $20. And after that, another pair of jeans. This time it was J. Crew. These were the women's size 27 light wash stretch ankle toothpick jeans, which sold for $19. In the last Poshmark sale of this time period, and of course the last sale of this video, was for these Merrill size women's 6 Kamori Chill Dark Earth Brown Suede Faux Fur Trim Shoes, which sold for $23. Well, guys, that's about all that I had for this video. Again, it wasn't anything major, just another what sold video in hopes of getting caught up to where I need to be. 
So again, thank you for watching this far. If you're a new watcher, I hope that you found today's content enjoyable and that you may have learned something. So if you did, go ahead and click the like button below. And if you guys feel moved to do so, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. So again, guys, I wish you a happy 2023. Thanks again for watching this far, and we'll catch you on the next one.